box by the side of it. Now, what we want, uh, yeah, hit local normal. Now, what we want is for this to be around. Uh, hold on. Well, basically, what we want is we, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of emboss it into the the ball. Okay. Uh, so we would want it about, I'd say, minus 0 0.5, say that, yeah, that looks good enough, and then this one can be minus, uh, I don't know, minus 25, no, minus 0 0.25. Hit OK. Yeah, that looks alright. That looks nice. That does. Looks nice, nice, nice. All good. Um, <coughs> right. Deselect polygons. Get off this. Uh, right. Now, what we want to do is we then want to go to our modify list and add turbo smooth. Now, this is really going to smoothen it out and add a lot more geometry to it. You know, like make it look a lot a lot more, much, much, much more nicer. So, as soon as you hit that, you see what I'm saying? Look, now if I deselect that, get off the edges, now it's starting to look nice, don't you think? It's starting to look nice, yeah? Right. Uh, get back on that. Right, now what we want to do is, um, right, we're going to want to go on to our material uh, editor. So how you're gonna do that is by you can either where is it? Okay, no, if if that right, just push M on your keyboard, right, and then that will open up your material editor. And then what we're gonna want to do here is hit um, standard multi sub objects. Where is it? There we go, multi sub object discard old material right and then what we're going to want to do is just have two different materials so set number to two okay and then we want to pick the colors okay so uh, click on the first one here and then click on this little box here and then choose your colour, right, I'm just going to pick, I'm not going to take too long with this, do you know what I mean, you can obviously take more time with the colour, but, uh, you know, I don't want to make it too, too long like the video, you know what I mean, so I'm going to pick, say, uh, about there, right, that colour there, yeah, okay, and then the next colour is going to just be white, so that's a piece of piss to do, do you know what I mean? Um, and then, what we're going to do, if I move this over here, what we are going to do is, um, actually wait, hold on, let me just change that colour again, because that is really not right, so if I put that full, I know I said I wasn't going to take too long with the colour, but I really need to change it. Right, let's have that, that looks more like it. Right. Um, so now what we're going to do is um, click on <coughs> where it says material 25 standard blah 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 basically where you, you know what I mean right. um, click on that and then we're going to go down to maps change the bump of it to 100 uh, click on none which is by the bump you know what I mean? Uh, and then we're going to go down to uh, noise. There we go. Double click on that. Now, uh, go on fractal. So it's fractal noise, right? And then we're going to change the size to 0 0.1 because we don't want it too much, okay? Because this is going to add texture, okay? As you see by this little picture up here. If I push enter, like you don't want it looking like this little picture up here, do you know what I mean? So we just want a little bit of text. So once push enter, there we go. Doesn't look much there, but trust me, it will do. Okay, it'll, it won't do too much, but it'll, it'll look nice, man. It'll look nice. Right. Next thing that we're gonna do is um, 
we're going to apply these uh, these um, materials, right? So we're going to click here where it, uh, go to parent, yeah. Uh, click it again, sorry. Uh, so click that twice. Um, right now, just zoom in on this a little bit. Now we're going to add the white first, right? So how we do this is if we go on editable poly, go to our polygons, and then again, and then that's selected. Um, <coughs> now we're going to drag this over. Oh wait, sorry. Right, we're going to hold this bit here, right? Material twenty six standard. Drag it over and let go on top of the um, where the red is, you know. Uh, and then that will apply the white texture to it. And then Control I will invert this. Will invert it so that you're on this on this um, on this ge geometry. Uh, and then we're going to grab the green one and put it on there. Simple as. Right. Now, if we get off this and click somewhere, there you go. Starting to look nice, eh? There we go. Right. One quick thing, though. It's basically finished now. But one quick thing. If you look in here, it's quite... Um, Unrealistic, really. Do you know what I mean? It's it's quite jaggy and so it's it's just not very nice, really. Um, so what we want to do is we all, we want to add another turbo smooth uh, to our list. Okay, so go and modify our list, find turbo smooth again. Uh, there it is, and as you can see, that looks a lot nicer, a lot nicer now, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Um, the texture that I was on about earlier with the fractal noise. Um, as you can see, there's no texture to it. So basically, what you've got to do is you've got to hit rendering and hit render. Okay. Once it's rendered, you'll you'll then see the texture on it as well because it doesn't show unless you render it. Okay. Um, basically, right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to render it. But the problem is because my computer is quite crap. It's 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 quite low spec and doesn't handle this program very well. So um, I'm going to hit rendering hit render right so I'm going to render it but I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back with with it rendered okay so I can show you what it looks like um, you know because it takes me a, it takes about half hour to render so yeah I'm just going to pause the video and come back okay right see you in a bit right okay guys I'm back and there's the finished product there's it rendered if I just zoom in on it looks quite nice eh see what I mean about the uh, the texture in it ain't too much Ain't too little, and uh, yeah, it took me about took it well, yeah, about half hour, twenty minutes to render this. But uh, depending on your system, it um should be quicker or slower depending on what you've got. So, I mean, my machine is not great. Do you know what I mean? So, it takes quite a while. But um, yeah. So uh, that's it really. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is like my first tutorial, and it's uh, it's like um, yeah, it's like only like my second video uploaded or something like that. So um, if you don't mind like rating and commenting and like subscribing would be really nice, but I mean it's up to you in it. But um, yeah, I'd appreciate it. But uh, yeah, here's my tutorial, and um, I hope you've learned something, and I. I hope you're impressed with what you've got, with what you've made. Um, you know, you've done a good job if it comes out the same. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so um, it's all done now. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later then. Um, subscribe, rate, and comment, please. Thanks. See you later.